Hello everyone and welcome to the second league week here of the mountain. We got ourselves today Rivella against Dino in a 1v1. Both players were invited from us, so a big match today here on stream. About week two, we have four games again. Like every week, we have Safari against Mirroring, Cookie Star against Flash True, Milox against Timo, and the game we are going to see now, Rivella against Dino. We will also update you on a bit what happened in the first week. We had uh, a week that is still not finished. Still, uh, Dino didn't play the first week against Timo. They need to play the game. But uh, Rivella won off stream against Flash 3-0 and is now first in the league with Mirrorwing. They both swept their opponents. Mirrorwing did that on stream. We or I didn't see much Dino and Rivella in 1v1. I know of an old uh, Zafara weekly tourney where Rivella won the 1v1 tourney there against uh, Milox in the final. He swept him there, so a really good performance from him. Let's just switch to the pregame where we also see some Twitter predictions from you. You said on Twitter that today Rivella is the favorite here with 71% and Dino with 29%. I'm also like for these predictions, I think Rivella is, in my opinion, the stronger player of them. But I can't really know that because I didn't really saw them play much. And Dino, we know him for his mechanics. He has amazing mechanics, really strong player. He can pull out really great plays. And for me, still, I don't know. It depends how confident and how he will pull out all that stuff here against Rivella who will be like more more confident in his abilities and also on stream Rivella has more experience with that you know I think as I know less so it will be a pretty equal game in my opinion with Rivella the favorite also from my perspective and today with me casting these games we have Habash hi Habash hey what's up guys what do you think from this matchup? Who do you think will win this and uh, take these three points home? Well, it is a bit special because I think that Rivella is the better 1v1 player. But then again, Rivella is still in the military, so he doesn't have a lot of time to grind. Um, from what I know, he's only around on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, but I think he still will have this because He's a, he's a very solid player also in the defense and I think Tino will have a hard time scoring on him. Yeah, indeed. I think that that will be also what I expect here. Rivella really strong and really consistent and Dino, I'm curious to see how he will do if he can pull out the consistency with that mechanics. So I think we can just jump into the game and see who can take this best of five home. The kickoff start here from Rivella. Can put a good demo on Dino. He had no boost. Then Rivella just got a strong start here. Really kind well of done. a weird kickoff there from Dino. I I'm not sure if, if if he wanted to do it like that because he was sideways to the ball, and that's why the ball went to his half. Yeah. But Rivella played really good, grabbing boost and getting a really fast demo there. And now he won another kickoff. And this can be the kickoff game at the moment. Dino now going from the wall. Looking for a touch. But Rivella really well played there. Can pull the can take the ball with him and start a counter-attack. It's you know on the wrong side, but Dino is able to get on the right side and make a save. Big challenge from Dino. Rivella faked himself a bit, but Rivella again with a good demolition. And Dino is out of the play, empty net. And Rivella will not miss that. And extend his lead here. Rivella really putting out that demo plays at the moment. 
it's really working really good for him. Well, again, after a strong kickoff. Dino now has to defend well. Rivella still with a lot of boost, putting on pressure on Dino. Dino needs to find out how to counter Rivella. Rivella is at the moment really doing well. Shadow defense from Dino is not on pointer. He gets the boost, but not the save. And Rivella again really strong with another shot, putting on so much pressure on Dino here. Dino now with a useful kickoff, but still Rivella is the first on booster. Can again start a shot, but this time it's pretty weak and Dino has the touch. Towards the gold, ball is out, but still a good rebound here from Dino. And we are having also some technical issues with Habash that we can't hear anymore. here coming pretty high with the double touch and a really good play here from Rivella. Dino was not able to get a save here on the double touch of Rivella. And now Rivella has a solid lead, 3 goal lead. Dino with the save. Ball still there for Rivella, but zero boost. Dino can take the ball. So now a counter attack. He goes for a ceiling shot, but is not there for a shot. Was not positioned well. Rivella can take the ball, but plays it a bit slow. Not the best flick there from him. But still, Rivella trying to attack Dino, put some pressure. Dino now gets out, takes a flick. Goes now for the flick, but Rivella just makes the save there. Grabs the boost, pretty important for him. You know, trying maybe to get a bit back to grab the boost too. He's now on low boost, Rivella has a lot of boost here and a shot. You know, should be able to save it. And indeed he is there ready and can now start a counter attack and he has to score. Three goals to make the comeback and he starts just really strong with a really nice flick here let's watch this again and with that i'm back i think hi Havash, welcome back here thank you i think we had some problems with this god right there and a lot of things happened in the game while i was away yeah so really nice goals double touch from rivella was pretty amazing and also this flick from dino now really i well actually missed that so i'm actually slightly salty about that. Oof. Dino just outplays Rivella really strong there and almost makes the comeback. Still one goal between the two players. He's definitely getting into the game better, Dino. Uh, in the start Rivella had a lot of possession, a lot of boost control mm -hmm. and it's kind of switching around now. Yes. But at least Dino gets a bit a bit of hold of the game, which is great to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we don't, really don't want to see one-sided games if possible. And it's now getting really interesting between the two players. Also, I think Dino has to be, like, start to get some confidence. He's not so experienced with games on stream, so also something that he has to watch out for. Rivella, we know we, he was also in the playoffs of the Premier Division and he gets here a really nice bump. And takes another goal on the scoreboard here. Another rather simple play. It's actually too good to see how simple Rivella can play and still score goals with the demos and with the bumps. Yes, I mean, if you watch a lot of pro players play 1v1, you will see bumps and demos so much. Not everyone plays like that, but it's really, it's something really OP. 
to use if, yeah. you, use if you use it right. Yeah, it definitely can be very, very effective. Especially with the demos, because the player will be out for three seconds and that just creates space uh, to, to, to get the shot in, to get some boost. And the other player will also respawn with just 30 boost, so if you can boost up him, that's also a, a big advantage. Yeah, and if he spawns on the wrong side, Dino here. With the <laughs> nice play. <laughs> Another nice play. We're getting a lot of highlight plays here from the two players. Really well, well played here from uh, I did tell him I, I want some gift plays, so here we go. So it's your job now as viewer to clip some goals for our highlight video at the end of the season. Yeah, tries to get a shot there, but goes just wide and starts his play now from his defense again. Doesn't want to give the ball to Dino. Vela and now with the follow -up. Oh, nice, nice. Really well played here again from Rivella. Just popping the ball off. Dino had a lot of respect here. Didn't go for a challenge. Rivella was really fast. I mean, if I watch now the two players, like, Rivella seems like he is playing more simple. And it's just working pretty good for him. Dino using more mechanical stuff to score. Ooh, the boost grab was important for Dino, he almost missed it, that would have been so dangerous for him. 30 seconds here. I don't oh, see the ceiling shot. Nice. In the ceiling shot <laughs> and again a really nice play here from Rivella. Maybe he hurt us, maybe he wanted <laughs> to do some gift plays too, who knows. <laughs> Saying hey I want part, we part of that highlight video too. Good delayed kick off here from Rivella. Takes it up the wall. Wants to score maybe another one. Tries to go on the ceiling. Just fails, but <laughs> almost made it in. Still pretty close, yeah. Pure attack, okay. Uh, they know probably with the restart there. Mm. Maybe some, uh, maybe a some car FPS change. issues or car change, yeah. I know that he's playing lately with the Skyline. Oh. So that could be his move. You see, he joined again. Oh yeah, definitely then. Well, let's just jump into the second game, I'd say. Yes, indeed. And I'm pretty curious now to see how Dino will respond to this Rivella game. Rivella did really solid. Do they know that they can join? Let's say third, seven. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We want to see some more action. Don't yeah, and you wait. see here the skyline from Dino. I expected this move. To be honest, when I saw him on on Octane, I didn't remember he told me he changed his main card to skyline. So, well, he's off to a great start with the skyline. That's for sure. Yeah, but Rivella there overcommitted a bit too much here. You see. Well, yeah, it, it wasn't necessarily the car, but still. Yeah, indeed. A Great start with Rebellion. the skyline. That's indeed true, and... Now let's see if, with his new main car, he can pull out a better series here. You know, going for the flick, just fakes it, Rivella takes the ball. And the boost in the corner, but Dino goes faster on the ball. Still Dino putting on the pressure, tries a ceiling shot, shot is not on target, now Rivella can counter attack this. Dino missed the boost, that was really lucky for Rivella to get there, the 100 pad, and really important too. And the other shot but gets on the crossbar now, Dino has to be fast with the counter attack, Rivella is just there to save it. And we are seeing now a lot of back and forth between the players. Rise another flick. Rivella just can take the ball, but it's maybe too slow to start a counter attack. Tries to outplay Dino here with the shot, but Dino is just there on time to get the save. Rivella now with the shot, and that's enough to score. The pressure was high from him, and we have a tie game here. Again, with a lot of control there, Rivella. 
Yeah, he played just out of the possession. Played it really good, with putting on pressure on Dino there. Dino had not much boost. He just recovered, and now another shot from Rivella. But Dino is there. Rivella has to be careful now. He has no boost. Flick from Dino. He tries another 180, but it's not enough. Rivella also tries Ooh. to score <laughs> a long shot, but Dino is just there. Bump from the Rivella, <laughs> and now he <laughs> just drives Dino a bit around. Starts the counter attack, tries to outplay Dino with a dribble. Goes slow, <laughs> and Dino tries it with an in and out save, but that's not enough to get face down again. And Rivella takes the lead here in game number two. I really like how patient Rivella is. Uh, on the offense especially. Mm -hmm. He's just playing the ball, waiting, taking easy shots or trying to make easy plays. And he's so often just back in defense or on the, on the pressure again because he does such simple plays. Okay. And here we can say, we can see what happens when you ball chase on kickoff and the opponent doesn't expect it. Rivella didn't back down, he just grabbed some pads was able to get the shot. Dino was just trying to steal the boost there. Not enough to save the shot from Rivella in the end. Rivella extends his lead. A long shot from Rivella. Dino can't get it. I think he had not enough boost, right? Yeah, he was on zero. Good yeah. shot here from Rivella. But what you said is pretty true. It's what I'm seeing also here. Like, um... Rivella is just waiting to pull the trigger when Dino just goes for like more on a straight way Just with flicks and so he just pulls the trigger out. That's what Rivella is making better at the moment. It's like Yeah, just like that yeah. easy shot from the ground. He stays on the ground. He still has full control over his car He still has boost and Not really easy to clear a fall away for Dino either Yes, that's true and he's putting on a lot of pressure. Dino be shaky in defense because of that. We're seeing a pretty strong Rivella, I would say. Yeah, definitely. And what's really impressive is his decision making. When to go for boost, when to challenge the ball. It's just, it looks like he almost always does the right thing. That's indeed true. And Dino maybe needs to be a, more, a bit more patient and like use more brain. And here a challenge from Rivella. Well, I mean this 50-50 We can say it's a bit unlucky for Dino, but still Rivella was able to get the boost there and in time up Dino was already like behind because of that Although if Dino would have gotten the boost that would have been very risky for Rivella because he was basically on zero Yes, indeed. And he was in the corner mm -hmm. and it was pretty the close boost grab I have to say. Now a long shot from Dino and the demo attempt, it works and Dino finally finds another goal here. And maybe we can see now a comeback from him in this game. Until now the skyline didn't really pay off for him here. He needs to start to work on the comeback, two minutes left. And a good kick off here now for him. Maybe if he is fast enough he can pull the ball in. Really oh, well, well played done. here. Also dodging the demo attempt there. Very well mm -hmm. done. Yeah, by just waiting a bit, not going for the ball here. Really well played from him. That was... This was like what we saw, saw from Rivella until now. Pretty... Just wait, no panic. Wait until you can really put, pull the trigger in a safe way. Now Dino with the ball chase from kickoff. And another it one. Works. Rivella just goes for the boost there instead of staying in the middle for the save. And Dino just can pull it in. Really nice shot here. The arrow shot was on point. Dino you know, with the delayed kickoff, but Rivella has ball and boost possession. Still good defense from Dino. He didn't panic without boost. Is now a flick. He can't get much power misses there. Misses the boost. Oh, misses and another one. 
I think that's a bit of the story of game number two for him. Could yeah. Save from Rivella here. Maybe now fast um, enough that's, to that's get it in. Yeah. And indeed he is. He doesn't miss open nets. Really well played. Yeah. Here. They not just completely uh, boost stuff in the end there. With zero boost. On the backboard almost. Not yeah, much he, he can do. He went for an all in. It didn't pay off, he was not able to score and then Rivella just was there on the boost, the big boost pad and was able to turn it back into Dino's goal, so that was a bit the story of the goal. Yeah, though to be fair, he kinda has to go for those with one minute left mm -hmm. and being down to uh, now even four goals, not much more he can do than just chase a bit and try to get a good 50. Well, I mean, he had like one minute left or one and a half, 120, and he was two goals down. You can, you don't have to panic there because you have a lot of time in one v one, and you just need one goal and then a good kickoff, and you can like make the comeback through. So, yeah, that's, that's true, of course. Yeah, now it's it looks a bit a bit tougher, I could say. Well, it's still possible, but he has to score now and then get really good kickoffs. And I don't see it really coming. You're a good save from Rivella, but the follow-up save is not good enough. Dino can just put the ball in. Here he fails the flick, but then has still a touch, puts it high, and then he can just shoot it straight on net. And now, who knows? A good kickoff maybe starts a good momentum. And maybe we still have a game then. Not too bad, can get the boost. Oh! <laughs> just scores out of <laughs> Rivella, that's pretty unlucky for Rivella or just he was maybe not defending really well there. If you're staying a bit in net there, that will never happen. So I think that's a more uh, positioning problem from Rivella there. But still he's two goals up, 18 seconds left. You know, gets the ball, has no boost. Rivella now can take the ball, sort of counter attack. And this just gonna take it slowly, of course, and also score. Well, really well played. He just. Look at this, he just waits until Dino challenges or makes something. Now he sees Dino's is, Dino is coming, and he can just flick it to the other side. And score for the 9 6, and this game really is over for, for them. Rivella will go up 2-0 and Tino now has a hard work in front of him if he wants to make the comeback. But he still can, of course. That's true. I mean, we saw it also yesterday in the Sizzle game. Don't talk <laughs> about that. We, we don't talk about that here. <laughs> I mean, reverse sweep is always something that can happen. Yeah, I, I know, Karaj. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> I'm very well aware of that. <laughs> Maybe Rivella will panic now too. Who knows? <laughs> Not to be expected though. Or Dino will just start to fix that small problems he had in the past games. Now from the wall he tries a double touch. Ooh, close attempt there. Rivella had no boost for the save. Rivella from the wall has another good touch. Dino can take the demo, but he can take a shot. Right, so he needs to serve an attack. Here goes for Rivella oh, for the nice. bump, and well played here from Dino. That it's the third time he is in front, or the second. Last game he was he was the first to score. Yeah, but in the first one, Rivella scored uh, like two goals right in the beginning. Pick up here from Dino. Shot is a bit slow. Rivella can be back in time. But Dino has so much boost. Goes from the ceiling, and the ceiling shot is just perfect. Ball rolls behind Rivella. He can't get a save without boost. And now, for the first time, I guess, Dino has, two go has a two goal lead. Which should also give him some confidence, I hope. Yes, indeed. I mean, after losing two games, starting so well. That's and 
important. It's hard if, if you're if you're back early because even though you still have like four minutes left, you still get kind of that feeling that you have to to score and you have to do something now, and that doesn't help, of course, especially in one v one. Really, you're outplaced, you know, with a backflip. You know, just flies high here on top of Rivella, and Rivella can just put the ball in. Really well played here from Rivella. You know, fakes the kickoff and gets ball and booster. Tries a bit to fake Rivella or get a good 50, but Rivella doesn't fall for him. Magnolia's sinning shot. He misses that. Rivella has a lot of time, but he has no boost. Gets a long shot. Dino should be back on time. And he is indeed. But the ball is on Rivella now. It has a lot of boost and time. But can't really get a shot. On one point there, I was sure he was going for a bump. I mean, Dino was just staying like perfectly for that. Dino now tries to challenge, but still, the wall is on Rivella. The cross from the wall uses Dino oh. to score, and we have a tie game again. And once again, Rivella with the boost advantage there. We're saying it a lot. Yeah, I'm saying it really. Many times here. Sometimes Dino you know, just missed boost, but sometimes he is always like not with much boost left in the car. So Rivella is really winning the boost game here at the moment. And he starts another attack. Another slow dribble and Dino you know, just can't get the save there. The shot was not so good. I was thinking like you know, could have had a ah, oh, he was sliding. Was going backward, yeah. Didn't see that light. Just saw it in the replay. And Dino now needs to find again answers to Rivella's place. Now maybe can get a shot. He goes high, takes the ball in the upper corner, but Rivella is there for the save. And Rivella just takes a long shot. That will be nice hit. Good speed there from Rivella. Seeing that Dino goes for the boost, prioritizing that. And just gets scored on. This is also something we saw sometimes in this series from Dino, like prioritizing boost over ball. Rivella here with the ball chase, gets ball and boost can be so dangerous for Dino. Rivella from the wall. Oh. Just a really well play here from Rivella. And now he has a pretty comfortable lead. Three goals. I mean, it's not much in 1v1, but still, you're up two games helps, in the series. Yeah. And you're up now three goals in this game. The pressure is Make all on Dino now. Yeah, makes it, of course, very difficult for him with the pressure. And that should be the full goal lead, yeah. I think Dino again went for a delayed kickoff there, but this time it didn't pay off. Rivella is really showing us some good 1v1 here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of what you said about Dino with going for the boost. Uh, he sometimes does it in a, in a situation where it helps Rivella, but at the same time Rivella rarely goes for boost when he shouldn't. And well, also it, goes for the ball when he should. It happened too, but oof, what an outplay <laughs> here from Rivella. Goes for the fake, just saw Dino going with full speed on the challenge and he just pre-jumped the shot, but Rivella just took it slowly and had in the end a really great touch into the net there. And I mean, from what we're seeing now, it's really hard for Dino to make the comeback. Five it's gonna be different. insane if he does it though. And Rivella scored and seven goals without an answer of Dino. That's pretty hard for him, I guess. Rivella 
Rivella may be now starting to waste some time. Dino just. Oh. <laughs> just like messing around a bit. Went for boost. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think he really believes at this point, honestly. Yeah, after that kind of challenge there, I think the same. I still believe in him though. Mm. And if not, he can at least do some sick plays, some sick goals, maybe. Ooh, what a close of you from Riveladino. Has an open net, but just decides not to shoot. He wants just to go for gift plays now, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. Flip reset attempt, but Rivella is there for the save. And for Confetti, no, this is week number two. First game of week number two. Dino now from the scene and gets a touch. Rivella is there. Maybe Welcome we're starting. Welcome to the Swiss freestyle championships. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're now. I guess we're starting to see ceiling shots here. Yeah, they're challenging each other on ceiling shots. Rivella tries to floor, pinches close on the post. <laughs> Dino just <laughs> missed the ball or just want fake Rivella, I'm not sure. I've been losing some time. Maybe we will see now another ceiling shot attempt from him. Indeed we are. Not a good setup here. Wait for the flick at the ball is just in. Very well played here from Dino. Just makes another touch and then must have flicks it from the air. I mean, it doesn't change anything in the result of this game and series, but at least ending with that kind of nice goal is still something. Yeah, and everyone knows his mechanics are on point now. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So that's something. <laughs> and Rivella just takes this series home. Clearer than ex expected, you could say. Yes, indeed. I, I need to say I believed like Dino had at least a game. Here, I mean, I I was, from what I know about the two players, I was pretty sure Rivella was the favorite here, but I expected in the end some more like, to have it a bit closer, and like you know, grabbing some games or one or two games from Rivella. Yeah, and it's not even the sweep, but it's just even if you don't look at the goals, it's just that Rivella had so much more control over the ball, over the boost, over the whole game basically. Mm -hmm. And you also see it on the offense for Rivella, he just knew what Dino was going to do and he could react to it with fakes and with flicks and with what not. And I, I think in those situations he was clearly the better player. Yes indeed, we saw some, some mistakes from Dino's side with some boost misses. He missed boost many times and he was boostless m many times when, when, when Rivella was attacking because of that. And we also saw him prioritizing boost over ball. So that was not like the best situation he had. So I guess, well, if he fixes that things, he, he would have been so much closer and he would have t take, taken some games here. But that was just too much to like get a win against Rivella that played really solid. Never panicking, just taking it slowly, waiting to pull the trigger until he like had the big chance. So really well. Yeah. I think even though we ex uh, w we expected it to be closer, it was kind of what we expected. Rivella was just very, very solid and mm -hmm. just a good ones player in general. And Dino was very good mechanically, but he just couldn't keep up with, uh, yeah, with Rivella's positioning, with his boost grabs, with his decisions, with everything. Yes, indeed. And with this being said, this. First game of week number two is over and we thank you so much for tuning in and watching this matchup. We are trying to set up two other games for you this week on Thursday evening. If possible we will tell you later on Twitter about it so just follow us on Twitter and you will get notified about every game we will have. And thank you very much Habosh for being here with me today casting this game and I wish you and all the viewers a great evening. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Bye.